Okay, so let's bring that sound file in here so we can test it and see if I got it working. So this is an idea of what VSA is like. So tools, load audio file, add, and all files. See the spider AVI now shows up. So I'm going to click on that. OK. And it brings it in. But before I can play it, I got to start up something. So let's get a device going. Solenoid. DMX dimmer. Whoops. Port NTEC. DMX address for spider is zero. That's correct. And the default is going to be zero. Okay, now that I did all that work, <laughs> I can at least now put in an event. Make that a pulse bar because that's what I like for these. 255 for on. Okay, let's test it. See if I get my sound. <laughs> Wow, that sounds good. Okay, sounds working. So now let's go ahead and build the rest of this VSA program. Yes! Okay, so now that now that we've got the sound loaded in, I can see where the sounds are in relation to events like I had just made this one so I'm gonna move it right in the beginning so that goes off right when the sound goes off let's see now because I don't have the air when I test stuff what I like to do is plug in a light instead of the actual solenoid Put the light so, I, so you can see it. Oop. All right. Nope, oh, that's on my mouse. Get off. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's hit play again. Okay. It's in my way. So now that I can see when it goes on and off and on and off, so I can begin to build these events and move them over. So like right there, make that a pulse bar, pulse value 255, which would be on. Um, probably right here, move that over. See, that's too big, so you can also squish it. Whoop, don't move it. Get the arrow button. There we go, a little smaller. Uh, by the way, linear bars, th those are for like dimming events, lights and stuff like that. Uh, pulse bar is for like, you know, on off. And so 255 is on. The default, or when it's done, it'll just turn back off again. Let's see, so I had another event here. Ooh, got that right the first time. That's a first. Pulse bar, 255. Okay. Let's do another one. I never line these up right. Right there. Pulse bar, 255. Oh, that was off. Okay, let's move way over here. There. Pulse bar. 255. Okay. And then, finally. All right, let's test it. Nice. Okay, so now that I've got generally the events for the solenoid, 
Now I'm going to apply air <laughs> and then see how it really looks. Okay, I've got air. <laughs> I got about 100 pounds PSI coming here. So for first bit of testing, let's do 20 again. All right, let's hit play. <laughs> Well, I hear the solenoid firing, but it's just not enough power. But at least that's all in line, so let's bring it up to 40. Okay, so that's looking good. Not very scary, though. <laughs> Let's try 50. Sometimes with the testing, like what we did over on the table, and then when I actually run all the air lines, uh, the PSI could be a little bit different. So I'm going to bring it up to 50. Actually, I think it dropped. Now it's at 40. It happens sometimes. <laughs> Try again. Uh, yeah, okay, this is great testing because I noticed, I don't know if you did, did you see it moving backwards? So that brick isn't enough. I'm going to have to do two bricks or by the end of the night, that thing's going to be in the backyard. So let's get another brick. Try it again. Okay, it's not moving now, so I solved that. And let's let's tighten up the timing on this. Let me look at it again. sounds I wanted my BSA so anyway you save it where you want to keep it and that is how you put all this together in BSA